Hello, Mark Crossfield here. More questions coming at you from the Ask Golf Guru app. This one we're talking about Lockie Magic, low wedges that Lockie hits in some of the playing videos we've done. Um, from Adam from the Ask Golf Guru app. Let's give him an answer. Let's get stuck in. Right, Adam says, hi Mark, how does Lockie hit those low wedges in the last match uh, play blog against Harper? Looks like he has the ball back in his stance. Is he also using less loft, like a 52 degree gap wedge so, or so on? Regards, Adam. Right, good question, Adam. He is hitting those low wedges, getting his so-called Lockie magic. Didn't tar partake in the last three holes. Lockie magic that. Um, Yes, he is presenting less loft. So this is a 56 degree club. If I try and present less loft than that, 38, 40 degrees of dynamic. So as I hit the ball, the loft is down, that ball's going in lower. I'm doing that personally by handle lean or hosel lean, shaft lean, putting this end ahead of this end to try and take the loft down. So let's say I've got 56 degrees here and I've got 40 yards to go. I would put ball back in my stance, lean the handle forwards. And as I come in to hit the ball, I'd make sure I keep that handle forwards. A little bit of extra weight on the left side to knock that down. I wouldn't particularly hit too far down on it. I wouldn't put the ball back and just try and round down on it. I would almost feel like I'm dragging the handle forwards, almost quite level to the ground to get a nice strike on it. Um, that's how I'm going to de-loft the club in general, and that's what Matt is doing, hit those low wedges. When we played that day, it was really, really windy. You can also, and I know James did this in a couple of them, if he had 70 yards to go, he actually went to his wedge. His wedge will go one third if he wants, down the grip, almost centre the slightly back in stance, weight left, and just, he's presenting less loft by using less loft at the start. He's also taking a bit of loft off that club, just naturally having the hands forwards. Um, but it's about trying to present less loft and you need to go away, go to your range and practice your trajectories with wedges. It's a great drill to go and do, just try and hit some. So I've got a wedge here, I can put the ball forwards, I can feel like my face is pointing more up the sky, lean the handle back and try and cut the ball up in the air. And then I can also just try a couple, same target, ball back, handle forward, just kind of head height it in, trying to go the same distance. So many people go to the, the range and don't get experimental enough. When it comes to wedges and most clubs, controlling trajectory is as important as controlling the left and rightness of your shot. The more I work with GC2HMT and watch people hit shots and monitor, measure what they're doing with the face and where the ball goes, those kind of things, the more you realise that dispersion, and this is so obvious, people always talk left and rights in dispersions. They very rarely talk short and long. And such a high percentage of my lessons, and I'm sure many of the lessons around the world, actually the biggest dispersion is short and long, not left and right. Left and right is acceptable. They're not missing left and right as much as you think, but they're certainly coming up short and then going full distance, then 20 yards shorter, and they're not able to control. Strike, dynamic loft, trajectory, spins, where if you get a good player and say 50 yard shot and you give them a club and you say, right, you want a high one or a low one with it, they can control what loft they're delivering to a certain degree, the speed they deliver that loft, and to a certain extent, the spin they put on that ball a little bit. Hard to put more spin on, they find it too, but they find it very easy to take spin off, so into the wind, those kind of things. They want the ball releasing out a bit more. So for you, definitely, ball back in your starts, handle forwards, really think about how much loft you're presenting. If you find it easier from the ball in the middle, as long as that handle is forwards at address, and you have the club turned in enough, because. The more you put the handle forwards, the more the face points to the right. So you ought to then put a bit of rotation around the shaft to make sure the face is pointing somewhere. Um, control that trajectory. You'll be able to hit wedges, different slope greens, different winds, those kind of things. So definitely play with that next time you're at the range. Thanks for the question. I hope that gives you an idea of how the locky magic, as he calls it, is working. Didn't come in on the last three holes. Where did the partner go? Um, it gives you a few answers. Speak to you soon. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also, thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.